Welcome back to On TV. Now joining me to my left is President of the Ogoma Veterans Association, Frank Ayetzi, and a fellow board member, Craig Lefebvre. Guys, how are you doing today? Great, thank you. So first of all, we brought you in to talk about something a little bit bigger, but what exactly do you guys do with, with the Ogoma Veterans Association? Well, basically we're a, uh, an association that has all the veterans to go out for a coffee, a lunch break, or a supper. Um, we get together. We spend time together, we talk, we have some fun. And just kind of mingle and let each other know that you're there for each other, you're supporting. For sure. Now, a, a big thing that I think is something really, really great is you're looking to buy some land to actually get a property for these guys. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Sure. Um, the property is out on Gordon Lake, the one we're looking at. Um, it's turnkey, basically. It's four acres that are developed. It's got eight cottages on it. Uh, each cottage has got a little kitchen, living room. Um, two bedrooms and a bathroom. Uh, it, it's turnkey, it, it, it's exciting. Um, the other eight acres is undeveloped, where we can build a common uh, area for guests or a conference room slash living room slash kitchen. Right, all of this is to be a retreat for the veterans, you know, Correct. if they're having a hard day, a hard time, that they're able to actually go out, enjoy some time on the water with their family, whatever it may be. For sure. So, Greg, where do you actually tie into all of this? What is your hand in, uh, in the development of this land? Um, not so much the development of the land, but just uh, really the, uh, the organizational side of the, the uh, we're a not-for-profit right now, but we've applied for, for charity <coughs> status. So, uh, if you've ever gone through that, that uh, gauntlet before it's extremely difficult right so i actually me and my wife founded a, uh, founded a uh, different charity organization last year so i kind of know uh you know about the paperwork that needs to be done how to go about it so i'm really just the guy that's putting this all together for these guys um it's a great it's a great group uh the 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 foundation itself or the association itself there's eight board members and six of them are all veterans so the really cool thing about all the donations and all of the, the money that comes in is the majority, like it, because the board is majority veterans, mm -hmm. they're the ones that are deciding. It's not somebody like me who's you know a business guy or whatever saying, hey, this is where this money should go or this is what we should do with this. So um, like I said, I'm, I'm strictly on the board to help facilitate and execute these guys' ideas. Uh, for them to tell me what they need and for, for me to say, okay, here's the direction that we need to go to make this happen. So, and then the other non-veteran uh, uh, board members is Frank's wife, who's the secretary, does the money and all that kind of stuff. So, um, the the majority rules on that board, and like I said, it's it's six out of the eight uh, that are the veterans. So, who better to um, to make the decisions on what they need than the veterans themselves? Right. Exactly. Yeah. Now, there are going to be a lot of decisions to make with what you do with land, but when it comes to how far you are to completion, would you say ten percent, twenty percent, fifty percent? How close are you guys getting to complete? Absolutely. Purchase, you mean, or Purchased, land? Purchase. You have everything built that uh, you think. Two percent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're, we've just started. So yeah. We, we've incorpor we were incorporated. Uh, we got our not-for-profit status in June. Uh, so this is really a brand new venture. Frank and his association have been around for about two years now. Um, you know, like he was saying, kind of get together, have coffee. Uh, really like a brotherhood um, mm -hmm. type of type of idea um, and when we got coordinated with each other talking about I wanted to get more involved with veterans that's kind of how I got I, I have some personal stories on, on that side of the house with friends that I grew up with so I wanted to get more involved um, and sitting listening to Frank and him saying here's all of the stuff that we need and that that's lacking, I'm like, I know what we need to do. I know how to, you know, I can, I know how I can help to fix yeah. this and, and the process that we need to go through. It was a perfect match all in yeah. all then. Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, I have a co-founder, Joe Kelly, who uh, him and myself started the coffee together mm -hmm. um, and we've got in and we've excelled since then, so it's great. And this is a pretty progressive idea, I thought. I haven't heard of too many places that actually are designated resorts for the veterans. How important do you feel that this is for to have that sanctuary for them to go to? It's it, it very important. The, the retreat area is going to be it, awesome. I, I, I mean, it, you can't say any more about it. It's just the right idea. Um, I watched a CTV uh, clip on another one in uh, Hanover, I believe it's called. Um, it's the Quartz Ridge Sanctuary, and it's a veteran running that one. Okay. Um, and the idea 
popped into my head one night when I was watching the news, and, and uh, that's we're gonna go towards what they're doing, but not totally what. Right. Incorporate some pieces of the things. For, for sure. For sure. Um, we have psychologists coming out to the camp, to the area if we need them. We have, um, we're trying to work with doctors in the city. Um, we're trying to work with dentists in the city. Um, we have businesses giving veterans some uh, percentages off stuff. Um, we're knocking on all the doors. Right. And if somebody wanted to find out a little bit more, maybe even wanted to support a little bit, where could they go? Could they reach out to the Facebook? I believe there is one. There's a Facebook there. page. It's Algoma um, Veterans Association. Um, there's a website, algomaveteransassociation.org. And we have a GoFundMe page off that. So. Okay, so if they actually go to the website or go to the Facebook sure. page, they can reach out to the GoFundMe. Well, guys, I'm going to thank you so much for coming in. I think this is an absolutely fantastic idea, and I'm glad you guys are actually taking the first step and getting it done. So thank you for doing what you're doing. Thank you for coming in, and thank you guys for watching. Thanks for sticking with On TV.